You've heard of trans men and trans women, but have you heard of trans species? Well, apparently that's a thing now. Think we've gone barking mad? Hear us out. Recently, over a thousand people gathered in Berlin. Wait, people may be the incorrect term to use here. Because they all identified as canines, not humans. They weren't talking to each other, they were howling and barking, advocating to be recognized as dogs. Now, we aren't too sure if people caught any of that since no one is proficient in the language of bark. But many did offer to put the herd's canine instincts to test. Some people demanded that animal control be called on them so they get rabies shots. Other people wanted these trans-species folks to be exiled to the Siberian tundra where they could survive with their dog instincts. Other people wondered why they were even putting on masks if they identified as dogs. After all, that should come from within. Maybe being a dog is a spiritual journey. Basically, the internet was as confused as we are. And the pictures went viral. As they say, every dog has its day. The question is, how did this canine convention come about? It's all thanks to this guy. That's Toko. No, that isn't a dog. It's a human. Yes, a human collie. And he went viral this year. If you don't live under a rock, chances are you've seen videos of him before. He lives in Japan and currently he's fulfilling his lifelong dream of becoming a dog. He's turned his life into a pooch paradise. He purchased a hyper-realistic dog costume this year. It was worth $14,000. Toko wears the costume and wanders about. He walks on all fours and loves getting pats on the head. Now, many people say that they're jealous of their pet dog's life and one assumes it's a joke. No one expects anyone to take matters this far. Especially not like the scenes we saw in Berlin. After Toko's canine aspirations went viral, he became an inspiration to many others. Essentially, people like him who also want to lead the dog life. In fact, Toko said that he would like to meet people with similar mindsets. Now, we don't mean to alarm you, and hopefully this isn't the start of a canine cult, because for starters, there is some confusion on the basics. Toko has been dubbed a Therian, meaning people who identify as a creature other than human. For instance, if someone believes that they're a cat soul reincarnated into a human body. But people acting like dogs are simply cosplaying in animal suits. And they want to identify themselves as furries. Some debate is underway. But these aren't the only two instances. There are other hound-human hybrids that have gone viral. For example, Tom Peters, a British man who identified as a Dalmatian. Or Toru Ueda an engineer from Tokyo. He spent $23,000 on a custom wolf suit. Ueda says that when he dons an animal costume, he's no longer human. He's free of human relationships or all kinds of human troubles. We aren't sure how true that is because this kind of sounds like a very expensive coping mechanism. One would suggest therapy. It's just as expensive, but comes with a higher chance of success. But then again, if a dog costume turns a rough day into a rough day, pardon the pun, to each their own. We don't have a bone to pick.